Hi guys, Baldogen here, and we're back with Hand of Fate 2. Uh, we're up to episode 6, the Hierophant. Um, see how we go with it. <clears throat> Episodes are going to start to get maybe a little bit longer now, on the longer tail of things. Um, stick with the trickster till we finish his storyline. Um, max Brimstone cards on the minute, so we can put one in, so let's go for it. Um, let's just check, be prepared for dice games, thieves, and we need gold, okay. So maybe that's not great, that one. Um, anything that gives me gold. Um, I mean, I get the platinum equipment and I can sell it for a good amount of gold. Arm wrestling, I get gold. Um, yeah, you don't get too much gold off the carpenter though. You spend gold, no thanks. You spend gold, no thanks. You spend gold. Dice. Gain gold, gain food. I like that one. Let's go with that. Uh, yes, that's the people who will go gain gold. Right in their bush. Gain gold. Uh, there's spending gold, but it could be very beneficial. Gain resources. So we have a choice to get gold there, so we'll go with that. One more. Any other gain gold? Food, reveal map. Don't want to spend gold. This one's getting gold. This is a dice throw, but we'll hope for the best. Equipment. There are these in this, so we'll go with that. We'll throw that in because we want to sell it. Again, was oh plus two to dice rolls. That would be huge for us. Stunted healing. I don't mind about that. Not too fast. Tight pockets. What's that? Reduce the chance of goblin stealing an item. Reduce gold stop by fifty percent. All right. That's extra gold on that one. Gain plus three gold whenever you draw a gold coin card. Yep, grab that. Do we need to fill them? We do, we have to fill it, okay. So. I'll get a shield. Uh, we don't even know what that blade does, so we'll get it. We like a card, no card is good. I've got any is good, so I'll grab that. So that's all good. Supplies. Okay. I did enjoy the dual blades last time. So I'll grab the food and the blades. So I'll go up against thieves. So that's alright. Alright. Let's start with that. I mean, can't guarantee a gold completion on the first attempt. Better time. Attempt it again, so. I do not know what the usurper Callus has done with the game. The he will have made changes, that is certain. How these changes will impact, I know not. I have tried to anticipate him here as I train you. I have built as many different scenarios as I can muster. You must be ready when we arrive. Yeah. Alright, with Malaclips' encouragement, what's a few murders in the grand scheme of things? You find yourself sat opposite the opulently dressed leader of the Thieves Guild. Or one of the leaders. It's a shadowy organization. He takes a sip of wine and leans back to savor the taste. I am scheduled to be assassinated. 
the, the new assassin has been determined, and so the tale begins. Alright, I believe the suspect is one of my own. With subtle nods, he indicates a bearded man, a woman with red hair, and a man with grey eyes. Borden, Rowena, and Grindon, my three personal silences. Alright. One of them left me this note. I am sure. When the red candle's flame burns out on his last evening at the Mulberry Inn, the false priest will have his sins appeased. He points out the red candle upon the fireplace. The assassin favours theatrics over secrecy, it seems. Find the assassin for me. To do that, you'll likely need gold. Thieves will tell you anything for gold. Alright. Um, yep. Grindon has been in my employ for some time. Okay. He's prone to making the most preposterous claims, many of which are untrue. I'd be wary of his exaggerations, even if he isn't the assassinist, and especially when he's had too much wine. Light accusation with the drunk. That's good. Oh, okay, in the top right, we're seeing three nights until assassination, two out of 19 clues. Rowena has been one of my silences for a long time, as I have been in this position. And that is a very long time indeed. So they've worked for a very long time. I asked that she infiltrate the third legion of the Imperial Army, Army and eliminate their captain. She did so, of course, as efficient as anything. Okay. I suspect that she is only truly loyal to gold, but she is quite a valuable asset to the guild. So it would be a shame if she intends to assassinate me. Rowena will always tell the truth of money. Interesting. Borden is the eldest of my employ, a simple, nervous kind of man. I highly doubt that he would have the heart nor the finesse to assassinate me, unless he has hidden his true nature all this time. I'd say you'd have to pour a few meads into him if you want him to talk. More truth when drunk, right? And that was left for me at this end. Yep, okay, we've got that. Ask who he is exactly. I am far known as Father Galfrey. Though, it's not my true name, of course. I keep track of accounts in this region. Find the assassin for me. To do that, you will likely need gold. Thieves will tell you anything for gold. And with that, he waves you away and you retire to bed, wondering how Malakwips talked you into this. Alright, so let's get right. Once again, we return to the inn, seeking clues to save a life. Well, no, we don't get the next level. We'll keep exploring. When we look into memories... So many things are left unsaid Us. and clouded. Why this life? Why this inn? We're not going to just store it. We're going to look at throwing up camp Good. for the night. Take this chance to review the clues you have learned and so we're far. Going to sell that weapon. Alright, there's the plague. I'm gonna go with fighting the corrupted. Let's go. Let's get into it. Mm, feeling a bit better now. My voice might sound a little bit different coming out of my cold, so. Or flu, whatever I had. I don't know. Just screwed with my throat. Don't sound like like a different stranger. Don't, don't, don't sound like a stranger anymore. It's very weird listening to my own voice. I'm not recognizing it. What, what? Me in the butt? What, what? Oh. oh, look at that. That musketeer coming on my eyes. And stabby stab. Really cool. This game's awesome, but the, I suppose those finisher animations could be a lot better. I mean, visually they could be better and sound-wise as well. I mean, 
so many where you like stick a sword through their head and it just won't make any sound. Just, it's just a bit strange. One should always keep Got an lots. eye on their belongings, lest little hands find idle work. With a snap, you feel something being yanked off your person. You've been ambushed. You do turn to see a few goblins running away, giggling, pointing at you. Three goblins. With no time to check what was stolen, you rush after the thieving devils. We need to defeat them. Alright. It's feeling before they get to the end of the horn. And the thieves have turned up to protect them. I mean, it's just really just target the goblins first, right? I'm assuming they're going to be running away from me. It's going to be like Indiana Jones style. Oh, cool. They look like little pirates. Almost. Oh, yeah, so they're going to be. Oh, that's right, they, they took my weapons. So. So I got all goblins dead before the horn went off. So I hope we shouldn't lose anything. I don't know how much gold I'm going to need by the end, so... It's really a... Uh, get as much as I possibly can. Alright. Oh, so I still lose gold. I just get my weapons. Oh my god, this is fantastic. Yes. This piece has passed. I know it's Billy Club's good, but hands. they said that Every dice rolls are loses be happening a bit. Even this, when so the deck is stacked in their favor. Having that ring will help a lot. He scratches some of the numbers on one of the paper many rolls of paper strewn across the table and glances up at you. Three days until the assassin comes to me, and three suspects. How apt. Three days to uncover the liar. I would like you to follow one of my silences on a job. Trading trust for information. Pay for it if you must. Alright. Arsenal, yep. We all cover gold and that is why we're in the business, no? If someone has paid a high price for my head, then there is little I can do. He considers his one for a moment. I'd imagine the assassin is more inclined towards lying. If you can root out the liar, you will uncover the assassin too. Okay, so the assassin will always lie regardless of their personality. Right. So, Borden's an alcoholic and throws wild accusations around when he's drunk. Grindon just needs some alcohol. Rowena loves gold. Let's go with Rowena. Rowena has been asked with kidnapping the child of Lady Fielding as they journey to the capital. Alright, let's go kidnap somebody. You surely have a liking for strange bedfellows. Here you are helping thieves challenge thieves without a thought for their ultimate victims. Alright. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, let's go. Oh, anarchists. Yeah, the guys that throw the bottles. Interesting. Easier to defeat than the individual thieves, I guess. Oh, I've still got my blades? Interesting. I must have taken the ring or something.
20 seconds, one guy left, let's do it. Let's get it done. Come back here, little man. Oh, yeah. That's how we do it. We didn't fight back. He's got a, like, a machete. We didn't fight back. We didn't even draw his weapon. A little weird. Just keep running. Just keep running. You take back your brigand's blade from the cups of as soon as you do. Still on my bloody money. Awesome. Give me some more equipment. Oh, damn. This is really good. Yep. Gain plus three gold whenever you draw a gold gain card. Absolutely great. I guess, yeah, I haven't really been focusing on food. Um, keep exploring. Anything that would be helpful to me? No. Leave. All right. Let's assist the distressed woman. Back to the bones. I Plus two. To yes. Come on. Awesome. Awesome. That ring already shone through. Yes. Wow, look how much gold I got already. Assassins. I have little love for them, less still for the criminal guilds that fill the cities these days. Bankers, thieves, <laughs> Bankers. assassins, merchants, <laughs> kings, each tries to use their power to control those around them. The bloody bank tellers. You and Rowena need not travel far before finding a gilded carriage trundling along an imperial road. The carriage is protected by a contingent of guards. Defeat all enemies before the time it ends to impress Rowena. Okay. I understand. Light weapons are the weakest, but that's what I've got. So much time right now. Nice. Very nice. So much time. Full of time. Yeah. She trusts me a little more. Mm. He opened the carriage door to see a woman dressed in silks and gems. Clutching her son, please, she cries desperately. Take this gold. He's just a child. Without a second thought, Rowena pockets the heavy pouch of coins from the weeping mother and closes the door on them. The Steve stares at you coldly. I'm just going to swear myself to secrecy. Yeah, I've got plenty of gold. I think. If there's nothing else, I have business elsewhere. Elsewhere. Um, I mean, favorite food. Roasted apple. For family. My family in the capital, I do not talk to them. I joined the guild after I murdered the captain of the third legion. That's a lie. Rumi said that she was in the third legion of the empire and killed her captain. But I thought that she was in the thieves guild and was asked to infiltrate the third legion. So she was already in the guild. Um, 
he sits in his finery counting coins. I expect he will do so until the day he dies. She considers you for a bit. I wouldn't trust him so much. He is in a guild of thieves just like us after all. See you later. Interesting. Very interesting little adventure. Back to the inn. Is it the fireplace? Ooh. He scratches some numbers on one of the... Yep, he did before. Hope the job with Ruina was fruitful today. You are not dead with a knife in your back, so I presume yes. I would be prudent to review what my silences have said when you have a quiet moment. Perhaps you will catch your lie in the process. Tomorrow, who will you follow? Talk about your goblin problem. Goblins from our guild. He scratches your chin in annoyance. Their loyalty to the guild is tenuous at best. Here, take this. Thieves folly. So this much item. folly begins and ends with oh. crime. This item will always be stolen instead of other equipment or gold. That's actually a pretty sweet ring. Funny bunch of goblins. I will follow the this guy. Tolgrin to stake out the castle by Warhammer Lake for a movement. For any movement, out or in. The lady of the castle owes us a considerable debt. You know the meeting point on your map and retire for the night. Alright. Let's review these. Equipment. No, it's still just that stuff. No equipment I can sell. Nope. Well, yes, but I'm not going to. Uh, review clothes. hoping but that's not gonna work gonna work is this one receive 15 life for every gold card no I don't that doesn't matter receive plus four food after every dice game just first to dice game so let's go with this there's nothing that increases my gold so we'll go with that cost six gold but That's fine. I mean, all you did was take the ring. So, I've still got all my gear. Kill 15 thieves with a finish and unlock this token. I mean, yeah, we want to unlock the token, so let's go. Oh, nice. Need that. Oh, yes. More gold. That should be the end.
Got a good feeling about how we've been going so far. Oh, we've got a Northern Raid. We need 11 more finishes with these clubs to get that token. Because I don't think I'll get it at this adventure. That was, that's a bit, that, come on, come on, I feel I had that one, ooh, that one too, jeez, oh man, getting a little bit messy in there. The raid is defeated, you contemplate your next move. I'm going to search for spoils and hope I don't lose gold. I had to choose the one where I lose gold. Gosh. If that five gold is the chance or two, perhaps. Oh. Beside a busy Empire Road, you spy a ramshackle store whereupon a few ramshackle people are seated on stools, rolling dice. Rolling some ramshackle dice. You approach the stall and behind the table is a little girl practicing practicing on a poorly tuned violin. Beside her waits a squat a squat lady clad in a flat flowery apron apron. Welcome, have a seat. Do try the spice cakes. I baked them this morning. Berta smiles at you warmly. What would you like to play? I've got dice, I've got cards, and buckets of coins for winnings. Uh, let's play dice. Bet eleven gold. Remember, Poppet, it's double or nothing. Better hand you three well-worn dice. If your roll is the highest, you'll win enough to buy your sweetheart something from the market. Alright, so... Well done. You continue to impress. Now for your second roll. That was pretty bad. Choose which dice to re-roll. I'm just gonna say all of them. Wow, really? Come on now. I'm gonna do it again. Let's go. Let's let's go. I am banking on this food right now. So does that mean I'm just setting 16 as the standard? Yeah, I am. So the idea is to roll terrible on your first roll. Oh, no way. Roll at least 18 on your third and final roll. But that's, that's, fuck, that's, that's, God damn it. Absolutely possible. Oh, I need at least um, a four. No, come on. <laughs> okay, I have to stop. I have to stop. I have to stop. Um, leave. I have to stop. With a shout, Grindon signals your arrival at the castle by. More Hammer Lake. You find some long grass and settle down for the day. Despite being a stakeout, Grindon happily talks quite loudly. You know, my sources tell me the lady inside is wanted for high treason. He suddenly pulls out a bit of charcoal and paper. Would you like my autograph? Say so yes. You allow him to scribble his name on the roll of paper. He tucks it lovingly into your hand. You trust me a little more. Cool. Time passes, but nobody leaves or enters the modern castle. I say, who are you anyway? Grinnan retrieves a boiled sweep from a paper bag and pops it in his mouth. I've not seen you around before. I'm 
any recruit. I oh, really. I heard we didn't need any more recruits. That we're struggling to feed the man we already had. Grindon squints at you suspiciously, stroking his hat. Tell me, what did you do to get recruited? Interesting. I said that you stole the shoes off her when everyone's sleeping. Ha! Grindon snatches the air in front of you and triumphantly. Everybody in Earth has wooden legs. Oh, he trusts me a little less, eh? Oh. Alright, before you head into your surprise, you take a chance to question Grindon. Ask about his past. Um, I'm just getting a, a bribe for eight golds. Bribe for eight gold. Good, good. Well, I used to be a famed actor, but that was a while ago. Okay, about family. Oh, yes. Very nice. Favorite food. Everything's about the father. I'm not spending a lot of money to get this out of them. Very nice. Oh, you're pretty a doddering old form. I'm surprised he hasn't already been replaced by a younger, more dashing guild member. He's gone soft in his old age. The other day he let one of the rabble go free after they mucked up a job. No thumbs chopped off, nothing. And is checking his appearance in the reflection of his blade. Big goodbye. I'm not sure. Alright. For once, Father Gilfrey is, merely, is merely sitting and staring silently at his papers. The quill is stationary in his hand. Tomorrow evening I may die. For the briefest moment, fatigue crosses his face. Father Galfrey appears, all at once, very old. I hope you know who the assassin is before then. That's why I trust you. Father Galfrey looks at you sadly. Even if you were to steal the ring from my hand, you could never truly be part of this guild, no. You would not have the heart for it. I have to borrow gold from the guild's coffers to bribe the suspects. I need to go on a job with Borden. Borden is going to pick up some lamps from shipwreck port that have been, let's say, repossessed from their owners. This particular card is uh, below yes. even as it represents a quick means to an easy profit. Still more. Still more. I'm wrestling. Hmm. Ten should be easy. We gotta sell some of this food. And a rotten thief. It's boring. Expend the effort to save him and watch Doesn't thousands wait as they lose their heart. You ride in relative well. silence until Borden turns to you and asks quite seriously, "What do you think of the boss?" Tell him that you are proud to be working under such a great man. Tell him that you find Father Gaffrey hard to read. 
Oh man, trust me, little less. At the port, you're approached by a pirate bearing a load of stolen lamps. Borden goes to give him a sack of gold, presumably payment. The unusually pale pirate shakes his head. No. He pulls out a rusty pocket and his sword. I want blood. There's. Yeah, let's go. Give my blood. Oh. 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 Wow. You arrive at the drop-off point, board and you see it's with sudden emotion. I'm sorry I should give you blood. I'm a terrible person, aren't I? Attempt to comfort him. Oh, pendulum style. Patience. Do not move too quickly, for haste breeds yes. failure. Whew. Good. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. That's a farmer. Left him for a traitor. Jeez. Sweaty question. Okay. Who thinks of the father? Boss always makes sure we get our cut. You can't ask for any better, really. In a guild of scoundrels like us. It doesn't seem like he wanted to stick around. Okay. Let's, um,. So this is the end, so let's sell stuff that's not really going to affect, so... Um, I don't think Thieves Folly is going to affect. Blades aren't going to affect. Berserker's um, Creed, I don't think that's going to affect. Um, not sure if I'm going to have to do any rolls during the final thing. And I wouldn't mind keeping bully clubs. Um, uh, 109 should be enough, right? Yeah. And let's um cook some food. Right. Review clothes. All right. Let's see what happens. So. Used to be a famed actor. Not so much. Um, she was in the Third Legion. The Emperor killed her captain. All right. Borden said. Borden said he's left. His wife left him for a traitor. Okay. I mean, nothing seems to have changed really. As things so often do, suspicion right. turns to violence, and violence to death. I had hoped you would bring something more to our table than Callus once did. You find Father Galfrey at his usual place next to the fire. As you seat yourself opposite him, you notice he looks distinctly calm, despite the foretelling of his death tonight. You watch Borden, Rowena, and Grindon roaming about the tavern. Find and eliminate the assassin before they eliminate me. However, I cannot be responsible for what may happen if you accuse one of my silences wrongly. The red candle upon the fireplace burns tall. The Mulberry Inn is curiously quiet tonight. Alright, so... Approach... Grindon. Yes, I heard about the assassination threat from my own channels. Grindon adjusts his hat. I'm very well respected in this guild, you know. He's more noticeable to give better clues when he is a bit more drunk. Right. Whoa, that was that was that Three, was that was close. You have done well. <sighs> Come to think of it, the soothsayer here told me not to trust the colour red. Rowena has red hair. 
Grindon claps his hands as if that solved the matter. Don't trust the color red. Very candle monster. Okay. Pride with 20 gold. Alright, good. I do have to roll dice. Glad I kept that ring. Victory. You are learning. Borden murdered his wife, you know, sold her to the desert nomads. I saw Borden looking very suspicious the other night. He must be the culprit. We're going to continue to sharpen her blades, not even looking up at you. Okay. Um, I don't really need to drink with her right now, so let's give her a ton of gold first. Because she likes the gold. <laughs> so much food. That card, that blessing is so broken. So broken. Can the movie have no use for gold? It's the bearded man. Venus says the assassin is Borden. I think it's pointing to Borden right now. They don't wear a hidden wrist dagger. Rowena said that the assassin doesn't have a hidden wrist dagger. So crazy claims when he's drinking, so let's go drink first. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh nailed it! Yes! Hell yes! Alright. Drunken Borden pulls you close and whispers fiercely. Don't let her hear this, but the redhead is ruthless. She infiltrated the Seventh Legion as an Empire soldier for six moons and killed her commander in cold blood. Oh, that's a lie. fellow only began working several days ago. I'm not sure what his story is of all of us. I was just searching the most. Well, I think we're dead. I began working for the guild several days ago. Alright. So, talk to him about it. Um, I'd advise you not to waste your time. I have a very personal stake in your prompt success. Oh, yeah. You don't want to die. Um, hear the death threat again. Fair enough. So we have wrist daggers. It's not uncommon for scientists to wear wrist daggers. Only Borden doesn't have one, I believe. He says that it's not honourable. Can you imagine, can you imagine that? Honour amongst thieves? It's gotta be Borden. Alright, I believe it's Borden. I'm going to accuse Borden. Borden's nervous demeanor disappears in an instant, grinning. He draws his blade. You have made a grievous mistake, mercenary. You have uncovered the assassin. Borden rallies some guild minions. Whoa! Look out. Don't worry, I'll take you through this portal and kill you all. That is a hat. That is a nice hat. 
Oh, cool little scene, man. Right? I mean, I don't want to be there. So much better. However, I still got it. As violence subsides, you realize that Father Galfrey is standing next to you, eyeing Borden's body, Ghibli. Such a shame. He looks up at you. Now, to balance accounts, you took every precaution. I owe you a great debt. Let me show you how to pick a fool with a heavy purse from a crowd when... And then you, my friend, he takes a ring from his hand and places it on you. We'll never be wanting more gold. Okay. More cards. No choices, gold is that more first go. To unlock. Very nice. Sacrificial blade, that's cool. Alright. Alright, alright. And the gold token. Dueling with thieves. Berta's betting house. Oh, that one where I lost like all my money. <laughs> Light of truth. That is awesome. That is Here the hermit hides. Oh. And with him the secrets that underpin Whoa. your history. We will explore them together. I mean they're just continuing and continuing, aren't they? To unlock. It's crazy. Alright, well, the next episode, uh, we're doing The Lovers. We're just going to follow it, obviously, along the line. Makes just no sense to do it that way. Gold all around right now. First six episodes. Fantastic. Alright, next episode, episode seven. Uh, that'll be out in a couple of days. Uh, if you enjoyed watching, subscribe to the channel. Uh, like the video, it helps me out a lot. Just getting started, but it'd be really good to have some support. Alright, well, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.